Hey there everyone, welcome back. We just finished up the little tutorial bits for the ambition mode. Um, as you can see, we got our, our main character, Jushu. Not to be confused with the fat dude from also from Way. Uh, Jushu. Ju Shuju. I don't even know how to say his name, so I'm not even going to try. As you see, we have our one other person of any real importance, Zheng Chunhua. Other than that, we have a handful of kind of nobody officers. We do have a little bit of a base starting to pop up, but we're a long ways from being where we need to be. I don't know if I can... Can I have... Oh, I can! Alright. I totally forgot that you can bring them out with us. My bad. He's 10... I'm gonna get a bunch of tens for right now. Forage. Assist main unit. So, we got some officers there. That's all well and dandy. Yeah, yeah, you know. Everyone likes that. So, I got my bodyguards put together. My weapon set is good. My camp is coming together. Actually, wait, let me see if I, if I have materials. I'm going to upgrade my stuff. I have one material. We're going to go on ahead and focus on upgrading that. Yes, so I got that up to level 3. For the moment, I am going to focus on nothing and everything. Are you heading out? So as you can see, now we can actually choose and focus on what we need to. You have your skirmishes, you have your great battles, which will get you allies, you have your unconventional battles. For the moment, I am going to do skirmishes. Actually, everything but skirmish gives a times 1.2. We're gonna come here. We're gonna do this. And then we're gonna probably chain two or three battles together, is what I'm thinking. Point is, we're going to we're, this is this is it. This is the start of, you know, our big ambition. We actually have a lot of allies out here now. Uh, our goal is to break through the enemy's defensive line. I've got my allies. They're back there a little bit of a ways, but they're on their way to me, so... The, uh, the attack animation for these, for this guy, is absurd. Sent him flying, so that's one more new officer for us. We are having a little bit of difficulty, but you know what? We'll get where we need to get. I ain't worried about nothing else beyond that, because the enemy's not going to take a victory here. No way, no how. Uh, there's a lot of enemies to the south, but I'm not going to worry about them because they're kind of standing their ground right now. They're not advancing. And yes, I am the kind of person who will look at everything from a tactical standpoint because that's just how I am. The goal here, obviously, is simply to cut through everything that stands in my way. Also, I dislike leaving survivors, which is good, because look what's right in front of me. I've got my bodyguards are with me still, so I've got that going for us. Getting thrown around like a ragdoll, though, but I've got such an astounding amount of health. We've broken through the enemy's defensive line, so yeah, buddy. Mari chan. <laughs> Mori. Ranmaru Mori. 
I dislike leaving enemy officers though, so I'm going to focus on totally ignoring the enemy commander and going after all of his allied officers first. Ah uh, man, I really have people who are in trouble? Can I give my... I can. can't give them orders to move to another ally, though, is a problem. It'd be nice if I could give orders to them. I do have uh, Zhang Chunhua as our actual commander here, so that's funny. Even though I'm obviously the de facto leader, I'm still getting put on the back burner. Oh crap, he's the enemy commander, so I don't want to take him out just yet. Oh, I did not mean to take him out. It's a lot of enemy officers that I was kind of meaning to capture. I'm not sure if me winning here still means that I would capture them. I don't think it does, which makes me really, really sad. But there's only one way to find out. Who knows? I might have been doing it the hard way all this time and not even intended. Yeah, see? I only got five officers when I could have gotten a lot more here. That kind of sucks a little bit, but it's what it is. There's a command next battle that may be unfamiliar to you. By selecting this, you can advance to the former battle. It's referred to as a successive battle. With each battle, you find a succession of the rewards you can obtain when you return to camp will increase. However, you will not regain any of the health you lost in the previous battle. Give it a try if you're up to the challenge. So, we are going to, and as you can see, the, yeah, you see the, the, multipl the reward multiplier increases. So we are going to come here. We're going to participate in a skirmish now, so that way I can try to collect some resources. While I'm throwing your men around like ragdolls, y'all can just go on ahead and chill out to the rear. <clears throat> Way to stand there and just take the hit, guys. Really, y'all are amazing right now. Y'all are y'all are top tier. Zhang Hua, no Zhang Hu. I probably should have warned them that I'm a cut above the rest. Oh well. Everyone learns it sooner or later, right? I'm capturing enemy officers left and right and middle. Sent my base captain running though, which is a problem. I'll probably be doing some of uh, Nobunaga's ambition as well. I'm I'm a huge otaku. I, I, I'm not even gonna lie, guys. I'm a huge otaku. I, I do. I watch anime nonstop. I don't pretend to know everything about um, Japanese culture and base that purely off the fact that I watch anime a lot. So I'm not one of those kinds of otaku's. I just I really really enjoy it. I don't know. It's it's, it's one of those things where it's it's hard to explain. Actually, that's a bad idea. This, however, is not such a bad idea. Actually, this stuff over here, too. Let me collect this. Alrighty, then. We took him. And we're about to not nail these guys. Oh, 
No one there really put up too much of a fight. And we have the enemy, but he's way the hell up to the north. I don't even know if I want to put in the time and effort. Mainly because of the fact that time is a very, very limited resource for me right now. <laughs> A lot of enemies here. Uh oh, more enemy reinforcements have arrived. Don't like that. Well, this battle's over, anyways, so. Yeah, buddy! Yeah, so basically the role of the point of this game right here is to win battles, collect officers, collect resources that lets you build up your base. So on and so forth. Eh. And if you pace yourself and you actually take the time to go through and secure everything that you can, then you can still get a lot of officers. Even in skirmish modes. Like officers are something you're not gonna find yourself in a shortage of. Look, I've only done five battles altogether, and I'm already at 35 officers uh, from a force. The words will be greater as fighting successful battles features multiple benefits. The, f the more battles you fight, the harder they will become, but the rewards will be greater as well. In addition to the rewards, you can earn a carryover bonus. The carryover bonus continues to be carried over to each successive battle. Depending on how many successive battles you fight, you can win weapons or animals. Now, let's return to the camp. Oh, they're forcing me to go back. Those guys are dicks. I really wanted to show the... Also, my screen got dark. I don't know why. There we go. Problem solved. You can obtain some new information. There's a special type of battle known as a duel. Duels appear when you fight two to three successive battles, and you may come across officers that you normally do not encounter. Now, fight in successive battles and try to reach a duel for yourself. Bonds exist between you and famous officers that become your allies. By having famous officers as your ally or bodyguard, the bond between you will strengthen, enabling you to obtain special support skills or special events to play. So we are actually going to go and we are going to take Zheng Chunhua off of there. We're going to make her one of my bodyguards. That means that I'm probably going to have to take off some of the other bodyguards that I already have. But... It is what it is. I don't know how much... Oh! <laughs> she's already... Just, just by herself, she's already too much. So we are going to keep them, actually. He has a fire attack, so we'll keep that. Bodyguards can be upgraded using strength and bodyguards command. Upgrading them will increase, skill. increase their skill level itself. You can use the wisdom of your allies to upgrade your bodyguards. After imparting the wisdom, however, your, officer, your allies will become free officers once again. Nevertheless, you'll be able to make free officers on the battlefield of your allies once again, so upgrading your bodyguards is a wise move. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now because I'm at a super early point in the game. I'm not worried about none of that. However, I did just go out and get a bunch of stuff. So I can fully maximize that. And I think it's every five ranks. I thought it was five. Maybe it's ten. What type of weapon are you looking for? You still... Oh, well, you have some level 2s now. So we're getting to where I need you to be. Obviously, the goal is to maximize the levels, max out the level of this, and be able to, you know... To, to get legendary and really, really good gear off of that, which you can carry over into the story mode, which makes story mode and everything else much easier. This has the highest, so we're going to come here... Drinking a Rockstar Punched. I don't know if you guys know these. They're delicious. I love them, man. I really do. There's a lot of enemies over here, so we're going to come over here and pay them a visit.
but the enemy's running away. Well, that makes me a little bit unnervous. Allied forces have captured the barracks. If you're willing to step forward and get your hands dirty, then there's a place for you in my army. Let's collect everything. We're going to fall back and assist my allies. Ultimately, this right here is the easy one because the flow of battle is coming in from one direction. If I head south, it's almost guaranteed I can stop the enemy's advance dead in its tracks. However, there is a separate enemy force to the east as well. However, like I said, er, west, not east, west. I just came from the east. I remember when I was younger and I thought east was west, and I, I swore that east was west and west was east. Like, I, I'm like, no, I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. Evidently, I didn't know what I was talking about, but man, I was dedicated to that. I'm like, no, you're not hearing me. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, east is west, west is east. Or, you know, you know what I mean. Well, then, there's a lot of enemies here, so... I also appear to have a Skype message, so... I really hate when people try to get my attention when I'm in the middle of the middle of stuff, because I almost guarantee I know who it is. I guarantee I know who it is. What the hell was that? It's just like, ha, ah, one random strike! Two random strikes! So many of them! I keep on doing the wrong combo. I'm meaning to do the one... I keep on meaning to do that one. Because that one right there has a really good fucking attack strength. Just like monstrous attack strength. There's a handful of enemy officers over here. kind of figure after witnessing one guy damn near single-handedly wipe out like <laughs> an entire company's worth of troops they would just be all like hey maybe we should call it quits here you know i mean don't get me wrong i understand they're 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 fighting for whatever it is that they're fighting for i don't even can i actually get up that would be great if i could thanks god that's like the only problem- I don't know why, I used to not have an issue with that. I'm trying to remember if there's like a specific timing when you're supposed to hit the jump button and it lets you just like jump right the fuck back up. Oh, I did not realize that I had an ally down there that was fighting the enemy, but apparently I did. Ah. <sighs> Yes, yes I do. There's a lot more enemy officers down here. I need to go on ahead and deal with them. After all, that is what I came here for. And then we're coming up on where I need to be. Just rattling them away. Rattling them away. No one ever does. I don't know why. 
Like I said, it's because right now I don't have any fame, so it's like, eh, it plays into the story a little bit. Get up! I'm not done. I'm not done with you. What are you, mad? Enemy reinforcements have suddenly appeared all over the map. I'm like, cool! It doesn't change the fact that you guys are screwed in a big way. You took out one of my officers, so you go first. Oh, I got both of them at the same time. That's how you properly beast mode someone. This is the times... This is the first one, so I still have two more to do after this. Damn. Damn. It's gonna wind up being another probably 30, 35 minute video, but hopefully this will be the last time because they've taught me pretty much everything there is for them to teach me now, so. Mm, I've captured a fair number of officers this time as well, plus I've taken a lot of their weapons. Yeah, I'm focusing on just getting everything done here and now, and just, like, being like, I've got this! I'm trying to check to see who the fuck messaged me on Skype. Oh. Some of the guys from my guild thingy, or my network. Whatever you want to call it. I don't care! I was wrong, though. I, I did not know who it was. However, we are going to ride the momentum. We have a 1.8 here for another... This right here is a little bit harder, a battle at a disadvantage. Meaning that as soon as it begins, we're going to be getting hit. So, let's get ready for a real ride. Oh, um... And the thing we saw earlier, it said every two to three battles, it's every three battles. I've not once had it be two battles and then I get to the duel. Not once. There we go. I will. You're gonna serve me well. As you can see, they were not kidding when they said it's a battle at a disadvantage. Like, like as soon as it began, you're just thrown into the thick of it. And look at that! Our defensive line has already been broken. I'm gonna be coming in from the... yeah, it's the other way. As you can see, they're holding their... Zheng Chun, ah, Chunhua is already fighting the enemy though, which is a problem. I really doubt this Anthony can teach me about battle, buddy. But I suppose you're welcome to try. I know you're going to anyways. Now please, go on ahead. Teach me some more about battle. I'm so curious. And the little green orb right there, that's an animal. So I just got mahogany. Yes, the, nor the, the horses are all named after trees. There's all kinds of different animals you get in this. Like I said, the more battles, the more successive battles that you fight, the, the greater the rewards that you're able to collect and stuff, so...
as you can see, that uh, that disadvantage that we were at is uh, gone. Completely and entirely gone. <laughs> I think Zhang Chunhua is like joining the advance now, which kind of makes me uncomfortable. Like, I really don't need you right there at the front. Thanks. That just makes things more difficult for me. Because now I don't get to control the flow of battle. Yes, it does. And I'm not even done yet. That's the best part. Hi, guys! I wish I could make a character like like this. I think you can. In, not in this game, but in the uh, Dynasty Warriors uh, Empires, I believe. You can get the character creator deal. I believe you can make a character like this. Which I might do if I start a Let's Play of Dynasty Warriors Empires. I could see myself doing that. As you can see, the enemy did indeed uh, get pushed back. So now we are having a fun little trot down to... I totally did not mean to do that, but in retrospect it looked cool as hell anyways. Now then, I'm about to well and truly mess this dude up. <laughs> That's adorable. They are so determined. They're like, we can take him with numbers! How's, how's, the, how's that working out for you so far, guys? I'm, I'm curious. Alrighty then, now then, we've broken through their position there, we're gonna come over here and knock out their forces over here. <laughs> There's so many of them! They really don't know when to stop, they just don't. Once again, I can admire their dedication, not so much their intelligence. This guy's got a bunch of flying swords and he just chopped up about a hundred of our men at one time. Should we still be fighting? It's fine! He must be getting tired by now. I guarantee you they're thinking something like that. It's fine, I can take the hits, even though I really wish my fucking bodyguards were actually doing their jobs. But you know what? It's totally a-okay. Got another animal. It's a bear. Got a bear now, guys. Now I'm about to march into the enemy's main camp. Nice! Alrighty then, we've got our two, we're already at 30 minutes, I am going to end this video here, and the next video for sure is going to have our, our long awaited duel and the beginning of me actually doing things right. For the moment though, let's take a look at our, woof, 13 new officers, 13 new officers, um, we have four materials, I think, facility materials. So here very soon, I will be able to actually put a use to those. For the moment, though, I'm going to focus on where I'm at right now. 
I'm just gonna end the video because I'm starting up the next one right after anyways. So, thank you all for joining me for this video. I will see you very soon in the next one. And don't forget, like, subscribe, share the video with your friends, leave comments, uh, favorites, uh, all the same stuff you hear from every YouTuber, I would imagine. Alright. Have a good day.